you didn't see that. <laughs> hey everybody, who's ready for their 3 p.m. pegging session? I think I can just end the stream right there. I mean, it's not going to get better after that. And what a, what an apex we reached. <laughs> what a height we reached. We're, yeah, we're playing Peggle today. <gasps> Zuma was too hard. Diner Dash was too hard. Let's bring it back to Pachinko, but less stakes. This is Peggle. <laughs> it's, you probably know it. <laughs> it's, it's another one of PopCap's old classics. The game does this cool thing where it doesn't actually tell you what Peggle is, it just kind of throws you in and it's like, Hey, I'm the founder of the Peggle Institute. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna have you go in and figure it out. Granted, it's not complicated. All you gotta do is shoot the ball and hit the orange pegs. Basically, this game is a form of pachinko. <laughs> But uh, you can aim the ball, and you get power-ups. That's about it. Yeah, right there. It's also known for its uh, interesting sound design. You got the ball in the bucket. This returns the ball to the Ballotron. The Ballotron was my name and my nickname in college. <laughs> Stop. You have to clear all the orange pegs to win, and I believe you get a completion bonus if you clear all the pegs, period. Come on! Don't tease me like this. Okay. Um, so I have six left, so it should be pretty easy to just... And there you go. That's the game. <laughs> Again, a very simple concept that, you know, expands as it goes further. Hence the nature of a casual game. As I have learned over the past few days, though, casual does not necessarily mean easy. It just means simple to start. So we'll see how this goes. I anticipate it getting harder as it goes on. I'm really digging the sort of MIDI, like, very clearly made in a computer kind of soundtrack. It's very emblematic of, like, the time period when people were like, how do we create a low-budget soundtrack? MIDI, obviously. It was very much like, I don't know, it's very reminiscent of my time playing old, like, RuneScape back in the day. I have four balls left. I am aware of this. I guess the incentive is to not be fancy with it, not try to get all of the pegs immediately. 
Maybe that's a pro player thing. Maybe you just gotta focus on getting all the orange pegs. Like such. <gasps> right into the Death Star there. You do get points for percentage cleared. Magic bag. <laughs> uh, this game hasn't aged well. Not that it could have possibly known, but oh boy. Oh boy, is it ripe for the picking. Right, ripe for the pegging. Uh. Green pegs activate magic powers. The first magic power is Super Guide. Yeah, so you have different characters that have different magical powers based on the green pegs that you hit. So now, a super guide, it'll tell me where the ball will go. I say this with every game that I've played so far, but there are people who are like mega good at this. Because they really know how to strategize getting the free ball in, how to like bounce the pegs off each other. You would think that like for a game that's very much almost just pachinko, there is like no, almost no strategy, it's just entirely luck. But, um... No, there are people who are amazing at this. Like, I guess there are people who are just kind of amazing at any game. Like, if you really dedicate yourself, you can be amazing at anything. <gasps> I imagine 100% clearing some of these levels is kind of difficult just because you'll unintentionally hit the orange bags. Purple peg is worth bonus points. Score over 250,000 points on a shot to get a free ball. That's my free ball meter, I guess. Nice. the rejected initial title of Free Willy. <laughs> that, that's not a good... <laughs> that's not a good title. It's not a good joke. Like I said, after the initial pegging joke, it, it's just not... It's all downhill from here. It just doesn't get better. Did I not thread the needle? I just straight up pounded the haystack. Oh, I think I can 100% clear it. Okay, okay. All I gotta do now is, um, 
Ultra Extreme Fever! <laughs> I definitely peaked the mic on that one. <laughs> You know what? I, I get the appeal now. It does feel good. <laughs> Ball or head where you click. You can fine tune your shock with the mouse wheel or arrow keys. Oh yeah, it does make it go a little slower if you use the mouse wheel. If you would pardon me, I'm going to briefly open up chat. I get the appeal now. It does feel good. <laughs> Okay, we're playing the peg. Okay, okay. That was bad. I mean, I got a lot of pegs out of it, but it was just not a good shot. Alright, if I can do it like this. Get in there. <laughs> Peggle. We are playing Peggle. Yes, we are We are doing the peg. We are doing the pegging session. And not doing too great at it, all things considered. Um, Alright. Free ball, though. Angle it down a little bit. Um. Okay, okay. It's time to be more conscious about where the goal is. Peggle 2 is a PlayStation and Xbox exclusive? Why? It's like a casual game. They make way more money if they sold it on like a phone or something like that. EA, I swear. Anyway. Well, at least like Peggle Knights is on Steam. Um. I didn't know that. That is some dancey synth. I need to shoot these balls more carefully. So if I kind of like do it now. That worked out. Okay, okay. 
Ah, screw it. We take those. <laughs> it's really apparent when I tab out. <laughs> I mean, like, I know why PopCap games were largely discontinued. It's like EA shenanigans, like... Um, just today, I was looking to download Bookworm Adventures because I wanted to play that on the stream at some point. And it is, it is straight up abandonware. It's not on st stream. It, it, not on stream. It's not on Steam. It's not on Origin. So I had to get it somewhere else. I think I'll still be able to play it, but it's like... It's just something that I, you just can't get legally anymore. Because weirdly it's been discontinued. I don't know, it's EA being weird, like... Anyway, new character, alright. A fresh student, are you ready for multi-ball? It's a pretty extreme, it's pretty extreme, but you look like you can handle it. Use it for early mad points, or hit both green pegs in one shot for some nasty multi-baller action. it's like PopCap's fault necessarily, it's more just that like PopCap was bought out by EA, and it's more like EA is EA, and like, um, there's part of me that wants to believe that like PopCap still wants to make like good games, but like are ultimately under the tutelage of a corporate company that like wants to make a lot of money. I mean, AIA, EA kind of understood at the time how big the casual market was during the 2000s, so they purchased them out and have been using them to make money ever since. Like, so... Okay. Alright, um... Gotta weasel my way in there. The original three founders all left. Yeah, that 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 sounds about right. Like That sounds about right. Considering like where it's at now. It's it's sort of what happened with like rareware. Um following the Microsoft purchase, most of the people who used to work at Rare just straight up um the original founders of like Rare just don't work there anymore or left for other projects because it wasn't what they started. You know, they got bought out by a bigger company for like inner company political reasons or like monetary reasons and they just, I don't know. They were like, we actually just wanted to make games so they left to do something else. Okay, but the stuff that they made before all that still exists, so as long as we remember it, it's still here. Can I... Wasn't too bad. Uh, 
A new Bejeweled game? Um, it's been 12 years since the last PC game. I think they have a new Bejeweled game on phones, which I think is like, um, where most casual games are developed for now, because it just makes sense from a financial standpoint. Considering the simplicity of casual games, you can just run them on phones, and more people own phones than, like, computers, just straight up. Like, and in this day and age, it's more likely you own a smartphone than you do a computer. So... So if you're going to make a, like, straight up casual game now, you just sort of make it for phones. And Bejeweled just is a type of game that would straight up work on a phone. So, if PopCap were to make another Bejeweled game, it would be for phones. I don't really see them making it for PC, or if they did, it would be like a port. Like, they could port it to PC for sure, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, this kind of is representative of an era when casual games were more on PCs. I'm gonna be able to clear this. Ah, shoot. I need to be careful. That was not the trajectory I was expecting. <laughs> I was thinking about playing Bejeweled on stream at some point. Um, I've been on like a pop cap kick recently, so I think it's definitely something I would like to look into. But it's also like... I've also found that these casual games are a lot harder than I remember them being. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad. what you mean about like bejeweled being more about like the the jewels the money but um i think that's more just like a also greater trend in like the casual market um it's definitely in it's definitely an ea thing but it's also like a casual market thing where like a lot of phone games will just have rampant microtransactions because they're like, we made this game for literally nothing. How do we get more money out of it? <laughs> sort of deal. This really is a skill issue. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know, like, nobody will pay money for a game that is free to play, so you, uh, you gotta monetize it somehow, <laughs> like, and, uh, sometimes they really monetize it. It is really baffling that they wouldn't create a port for Peggle 2 for PC. I, I vaguely remember that, actually, because there was this really weird event in, like, Microsoft had this, like, conference or game awards show or something where they announced Peggle 2. And it was a very weird event, because I don't think anyone was really anticipating or looking forward to Peggle 2. But the announcer sure was hyped about it. He came up on stage and was like, Ladies and gentlemen, Peggle 2! And I think everyone was like looking forward to a new Halo game or something. As the next Microsoft exclusive. And it's like, huh? <laughs> it was, I remember it being leveled as a surreal experience. This guy getting so hyped about Peggle. Like... Man really wants to be pegged. Um. Oh man, I am eating ass. <laughs> Literally getting pegged right now. <gasps> oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. I think I really need to actually focus on hitting the orange pegs as opposed to like going for 100% completion. has a Discord server. I mean, I imagine that anything has a Discord server in this day and age. Um, kind of curious to see what kind of people still play the jewels. Um, it has to be a good mixture because when I was growing up, the people who played the jewels were like my parents. Like they were like older people. It was a casual market, so their big appeal was the people who played Bejeweled were people who didn't usually play video games. Like, suburban moms, usually. <laughs> The man behind the mask. Hello. We're playing Peggle. We are here for the 4 p.m. pegging session. How many times will I repeat this joke before it becomes funny?
Nice. Okay. <gasps> nice. Okay. They call him Jimmy Lightning because he's incredibly fast in bed. Um. PC is too trash to emulate it. Yeah, I had a really garbage PC for a really long time. Um, I <laughs> I tried booting it up like yesterday to do something, and it it was so sad. It was like asking a retiree to like I don't know run a 100 meter dash. I was like, oh no, I feel bad for even asking the. <laughs> PC to start up. It just took so long. And this wasn't an old PC, but it felt like watching a Windows 95 computer trying to do something. I can't get the right angle on that. Shoot! like shoot better. Alright. If I like, well, an attempt was made. Damn, you really need to get that peg the first time. <laughs> Steam Deck because I own a PC. And uh, that kind of makes owning a Steam Deck a little superfluous. I guess I could take it with me, but usually when I want to play games, I want to play them at my house. So, eh. for a winner. way I might be able to hit that orange spot and hit the uh nope <laughs> nope all right this is gonna be tricky So close.
game that can crash the Steam Deck? I mean... In theory, there are a lot of games that can crash the Steam Deck. Because their games just crash themselves. But if a game kind of just crashes the Steam Deck because... I don't know. It seems like a failure in hardware adjustment. <laughs> Usually you test to make sure the game runs okay. I guess there's like too many games on Steam though for you to really test. Like does this game actually run on the Steam Deck? Like I don't know, I guess in theory if you like ran... <laughs> It's sort of like, you know, you can you can test Gary's mod and be like, yo, Gary's mod runs normally about 99% of the times, but yes, if you put a thousand balloons and thrusters in one place, it will crash the Steam Deck because it will crash anything. Like, you know, that sort of thing. Um. Whoops, I need to do that. Um. There we go, right on the edge. Edging and pegging. It's gonna be nothing but this, the entire screen. Um. One unfortunate slang term, and that's all it takes. Um. It's actually a PlayStation Portable game. It can crash the deck if not emulated correctly. Um. I guess that's kind of the nature of emulation. Like, <laughs> it, it does have a tendency to crash. I like this snail's face. It's... it's something else. Yikes. Could have done better on that one.
either a game that I'm just not getting or it's it's like a game that like it's like okay here's the baby level okay here's the hard level like it kind of like it's like okay we're gonna teach you the mechanics and then we're gonna throw you into the deep end or at least that's what I want to think is the reason when I think the actual reason is something along the lines of I'm just bad Not the angle I was hoping for. Um, please bestow upon me your mercy. Oh, ye heavens of fate. Nope. It's good to know that the only person I'm embarrassing is myself. The multi ball, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm really just not getting the pattern down for when the free ball thing comes in the bottom. Oh. 
Or there is like a fundamental misunderstanding on my part about the trajectory of the balls in relation to when they are shot. All things considered, not the worst. Hold down the right mouse button to speed up time. much footage of these casual games and they're like wow this is really easy not understanding that they make it look easy That's something for sure. Ooh, nice. I think this is doable, albeit very weird. Ooh, we 
got it. Master Cat Tut oh boy. Nothing hurts me more than an almost good pun. Um Meow, I like yarn, but not as much as I like my pyramid power. It extends the edges of the free ball bucket for extra bounces and last second reprieves. It's subtle, but it can really help you out. Gaze with me into the pyramid, and I'll show you. He has really intense eyes. <laughs> that, is, that is a nice riff. That is amazingly useful, what the hell? <laughs> Almost, come on, hit it. Blind faith. Um. Nothing quite hurts like blind faith. Um. some instances in where you just have to clear other pegs in order to progress. That wasn't too bad.
I am rapidly beginning to see the appeal of this game. I think something I need to work on is uh, not breathing on the mic too much. <laughs> I, I notice I do that from time to time. Ooh, sexy. Something I've been considering recently is the fact that I built my own PC with a really nice graphics card and CPU. I, I went to all the effort to give it these nice fans and spent thousands of dollars on it. And now I'm using it to stream games from like 2006 that you can run on a potato. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. I've been thinking about my choices recently. <laughs> Nice. Oh damn, I love pegging. You found the joke. You found the one joke that the stream is about. It's it's nothing but pegging jokes. I hope you're here for it. Because that's all that it's going to be. Most original Peggle joke. Personally, if I were to make a Peggle joke, I would say something about the fact that, like, there's like a beaver that loves multiple balls, but whatever. Um, we're beyond that. Might as well take the low hanging fruit that is so close to the ground it might as well be a vegetable. Like, <laughs> Pyramid ability is so good, it's cracked. I once thought nothing could beat playing with a ball of yarn, but Peggle tops it. I'm keeping the yarn though, yarn still hits the spot every so often. This is a recurring theme in video games where they just stop having things to tell you that are helpful, so they just kind of start giving you flavor text, and that's fine. It, you know, it's good to establish character. What does the pyramid ability even do? It extends the... Do you see this thing at the bottom here that catches your balls? If, if a ball lands in that, it gets a free ball. Um, it extends the edges of that. So your ball is more likely to bounce off the edges and not immediately fall into the bottom. Which means you have a better chance overall of hitting more pegs or 
getting the ball into the hole. Basically, it's a way of extending the um, free ball catcher. Like as you could see it bounced off the edges there. It didn't do much to help, but sometimes it does. That reminds me, when I was downloading the very legal version of Bookworm Adventures um, today, <laughs> I was wondering like why is the file size for Bookworm Adventures so large? Part of it is because that's just an abnormally large pop cap game. They missed the opportunity to make the Egyptian Cat a Sphinx. I guess they did. I was wondering, like, why is Bookworm Adventure so abnormally large? And I looked into the files, and the reason why is because it was also downloading the demos for, like, all these other games. And it occurred to me that, like, PopCap would just include demos for their other games within every game you purchased. That was, like, a thing that they did. Like, it was like, oh, here's, like, a trial version of Bejeweled. If you, if you like this game, here's a trial version of Bejeweled. Or here's a trial version of, like, Feeding Frenzy. <laughs> like, So in addition to Bookworm Adventures, I guess I just have a trial version of a lot of games I already own? That's cool. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm gonna make it. No. That was back in the day when demos were a lot more prevalent. I guess demos still exist, but they weren't as big as they were back then. They aren't as big as they were back then, I should say. Um, I guess maybe like the threat of making a demo back in the day was that like if you had a demo you could theoretically extract additional game files out of it. You know, you could crack the coat. Shoot. I really bungalowed that one. Um, it worked out. Um, like, if you had the demo files, you could theoretically go into the game files and get the full game out of it. I guess game devs were initially like, no, we don't want that, so just stop giving demos. Oh, uh, this is gonna be... It's gonna be really difficult to get that. Because they're under a place where I really cannot hit them too well. No. 
Those pegs at the bottom are pretty difficult because of the little wooden beams poking in there. They're just hard to hit at that angle. theory do two separate builds that are one is demo and one is release and I think that works sometimes but what I've found from my brief experience in the game industry is that like you complications always arise in programming particularly with sequencing so like I would bet you there is a good chance that removing part of the game breaks another part of the game that it may be difficult to remove one part of the game in part without breaking another part. Like, um... So I don't know if it would be, like, fully capable and feasible to... say... Shit, um... How am I gonna hit it? Like... I mean, alright. I guess I just lose. <laughs> because they put it in, like, an impossible to hit location. Like... <laughs> Okay, so running into a, another problem here where I definitely need to actually aim for the hole. No! Wait. Oh, I got an extra ball. Okay. This might be doable. Ooh, Nelly. Nope. 
It's ironic because the cure for my fever is only more fever. I'm tired of this joke. <laughs> Especially when you get this kind of... I think that like stages like these can sometimes feel impossible. Um, but something feeling impossible initially and being impossible are like two different things. Um, like I think if this game limited you to 10 balls every time, this game would probably be super impossible. But it very clearly does not do that. Finagle the ball here. And that's some good finagling. Um, ooh, finagling successful. impossible, but it only feels that way. Greetings, aspiring Peggle Knot. Oh boy. My task is to expound on the Explodius Lace Pass for furious fulguration and fabulous firework. I want to spit on the screen. Many pegs will be sparkly dismissed and points will be accrue at the speed of shock. Set ocular eyes to see, and we shall launch our lesson. Lore. Powers are magical. Hit green peg for space blast and cosmic explodation. I'm gonna pretend I know what that means. Um. Earth shattering kaboom! I see, so it's just an AoE. That's not nearly as good as the last one. I guess it does generate a lot of points, though. Um. it off the wall like this. That's not the right angle. Um. Ah! Okay. 
Local man experiences the pain of begging. Um. left. Nah. That will suffice. for a particular shot right clicky I can't believe it stalled so long that it went under and then left. That's... that's awful. <laughs> background chuzzles from another PopCap game called Incidentally Chuzzle. This stage proves to be challenging. There's a certain element of randomness associated with... The fact that they change up where the tiles are every time. bad on my part. Nice. <laughs> 
freak out. <gasps> why why did Jimmy Lightning do like the Mortal Kombat toasty thing? <laughs> Sometimes blue pegs block good shots to orange. Hit blues to clear the whip. I, I've kind of gathered that by this point. Hoping it would bounce in a different direction. Oh well. I am blowing it. I am blowing it like a like an industrial fan. Get it every time, but it can't hurt. trying to shove it in there. Sick. Alright. game is very um it's not dramatic when you fail it's just like start over and then you messed up it doesn't shove it in your face i kind of appreciate that Right in, nice. <gasps> it bounced off the rim like twice. Yeesh. Okay. 
Well, I got what I was aiming for. Sort of. Got it. <laughs> Is that a Robo Maid? Is this game Japanese? <laughs> Understanding that sometimes it's not gonna work out. So I like a little better. <gasps> oh, almost, almost. Okay. Um. Yeah. First try. <laughs> It's wild. This game is such a, a little nothing of a casual game, but it also has like major gasp in those moments. Sit off this corner and go kind of like that. Shoot. Get in there. 
Oh shit, um, okay. <gasps> no! I was right there. That's amazing. <laughs> trajectory I was expecting. I'm, I'm really just trying to get it to hit the explosion spot, and it's just not working out. <laughs> I wish it had stalled more. Oh, this doesn't seem doable. Mm. 
We'll shoot. Okay, okay. I think I'm doing better at this. As better as one can get at a somewhat luck-based pachinko s game. Is that the, uh, gambler's fallacy? No, if it hadn't gotten caught, it would have gone in. When I say sick, I'm just, I'm just basically stealing um, Grapefruit's, like, slick from <laughs> his streams. Grapefruit was very good at Peggle. Hello, je m'appelle Claude. That means I am Claude in your English. I've seen tried the flippers, ah, they are wonderful. With them, you will learn to flip balls back against the wall for extra point like Crustration Born. No need to be shy, let us dive right in, yes? Master Claude Lobster. Rock lo ah, Lobster. That song is so weird. It's like good. Rock Lobster is such a good song, but it's also like. In the last three minutes, they just make animal noises. It's, it's kind of great though. This seems like a useful power-up, honestly. Like, a lot. Flipper Maniac! I guess flippers can't save you from everything. Um. It's good to know that even with that very powerful power up, I still just might lose. Like. That's game balancing at its finest right there. Well shoot.
Okay, we're just playing this very patient game right now, clawing our way to the finish, as you could say. No, we were close to an extra ball. Too bad. Um. Angle is bad. Angle bad. I can be your angle or your devil. Konami's dream in here. They combine pinball with pachinko. Like it off of here-ish. <gasps> okay. Theoretically inch it right in there. Yeah! Got it. Hakle blue. <laughs> Just that fish is in our way. Hit him to convince him to move. 
Well, he's not in my way right now. That was a good one. Oh, I could have flipped that. I'm such a dummy. Right. Put my hand up, put your hand up my butt and make me talk because I am a dummy. <laughs> in there? Yeah! An attempt was made. Um. I might be getting the hang of it. Or not. I always feel like I'm getting the hang of this is the, <laughs> is the words that precipitate immediate failure. Oui, oui, these lives are tricky. Take your time and you'll do fine. God does not have mercy on me, as it would seem. Alright, I can't keep doing that. Um, That works. <gasps> nice. I just get another one. Extreme Fever. Zuba. <laughs> I, I just call it like I see, because I got nothing else to say. <laughs> You can keep your. I, I know how to do that. Um. Oh. 
It is better down where it is wetter. Take it from me. That is unfortunate. Um. It's very. <laughs> I guess what I would say is like it's um fascinating the way that people choose to like write in accents because when you hear it, an accent is very apparent, but. Putting it into written word is a lot more difficult. written in all African-American vernacular and the way it was written was very precise in order to really give you the feeling of like how it was spoken to the point where sometimes the book was somewhat difficult to read because you would read it and be like if you just say it out loud it made sense if you read it out loud, it made sense, but if you kind of read it on the page, it would be like, what is going on here? I don't remember what it was called, because school was a long time ago. I have the worst luck, I swear. <laughs> It'll be like, oh, it's gonna go in, and then it hits some random peg from on the other side of the map. Like, the ball is guaranteed to go in this time. Just kidding. bounce out of the entire thing like
Maybe it would be better to count on my bad luck than my good luck. <gasps> yes! Two balls left, and if I can kind of finagle it... Sponge boy, me Bob. I get stuck in me pegging session. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. I don't even think that joke like came out correctly. I was like mid laugh while trying to do a Mr. Krabs impression. Sad. To use the things. <laughs> oh, two fish kissing. You can get the tasty flipper action by flipping the ball backwards against the wall. than lightning. That's a very low key song for a very low or slow paced calming song for a rescue dolphin. That ball was kind of glitching out there for a second. Thank you. 
Okay, okay. Well, that was embarrassing. Um. Fortunately, we don't have many orange pegs left. Yee. Why, hello there! My name is Redenfield. Behind me is my valet, Igor. Together we will demonstrate the space-bending qualities of the Spooky Ball. Don't be alarmed. Used with care, the Spooky Ball can earn points like you've never imagined. Let's try it. Oh boy. My magic power is the Spooky Ball. When you hit a green break, the ball will spookily go around the screen twice. I'll take your word for it. Uh, I, for one, am a little suspicious of anybody who claims to have spooky balls. But, you know what, disembodied pumpkin head? I got a good feeling about you. Ah, oh, it comes back! It resurrects! That sounds pretty good, actually. Or at least, potentially quite good. Almost, almost! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Well, it's very clever to have them like start the riff and then end the riff on the second go around. Alright, 
This one's for all the pigs. <gasps> no! This does generate you a lot of points, wow. <laughs> there and bounce it off, I can maybe hit that peg? Yeah. <gasps> no. My disappointment is immeasurable. My spooky is bald. Worst luck in this game, I swear. Say a bad luck, of course. Now it's like, now you win. Like, Say I was unlucky, and then I won. Reverse psychology at its finest. this web of lies I appear to look at. Spooktacular! Astounding! 
This, this game has a lot of background images that would make for good, <laughs> good thumbnail images. A lot of animals making weird faces. That might have been bad. Oh, it's okay. Oh. <gasps> nice. Might be able to thread the needle on this one. I did, I threaded the needle. There's just one more left. I suspect it'll be hard to get through with all these blue pegs in the way. Nice. I have cut through this web of lies. Yikes, watch out for those five bumpers on the Cobra. Bumpers? Oh, these things. That might be more of an upside than a downside, all things considered. Sometimes just a guaranteed free ball. Spooky ball, very good. Even pyramid tier. Possibly better. Nice. I think I'm getting better. Or maybe this power up is just really broken. The wall of blue pegs makes this level a challenge. Spooky ball can help. There is certainly a wall here. Assault and battery may be required. Get it, battery! Ah, <laughs> uh, Polly, what are your marketable skills? I can do puns. And? What do you mean? What do you mean, and? There's more? Like... Maybe I should not have done all the spooky balls all at once. Not that I had a choice, mind you. Oh, <laughs> 
I think I might fail this level simply by virtue of the fact that the spooky balls got used at once. I didn't get to strategize with them. Yep. Definitely a something. That's less of a something. Thread this needle. Oh, okay. Doable, doable, doable. Sick. Spooky ball comes out at the top of the board, the same spot it left the bottom. Well, I do have a lot of control over that. This image looks like the front of a cereal box. Like a seasonal Halloween cereal box. Expecting a free ball. Always a pleasant surprise, to be truly. directly into the trash right into the garbage chute so 
Such a sunny day. What, you say it's rainy? Well, even a rainy day can be sunny with the right perspective. I'm Tula. I'm Tupla. I'm a figure. I'm a figment of your imagination. And I'm thrilled I get to share my flower power with you. It's so helpful the way it lights up orange pegs every time. Lots of folks say it's their favorite. I hope it'll be yours. Let's find out. It better be good. It lights up orange pegs. Is that it? Oh, it just clears them. Alright, I thought it was just like, oh, it makes them brighter. It's like, that's completely pointless. Why? What, what was the purpose? But no, I see the purpose. It's it's a help you. It's, it's actually a helpful tool. It's a help you clear the level sort of thing. in there. Nope. Yeah! Bank shot. Right into the drink. Flower power lights up one-fifth of the remaining orange pegs. That means the sooner you use it, the more pegs you'll get. I guess there's no real reason not to go for it, then. Unless you want to let like 100% this. Flower power lights up the closest orange pegs. 
Hit that bottom one. I think I gotta clear one of these. Oh, I almost had it. <laughs> I think I had a lot of extra balls, otherwise <laughs> I would have totally whiffed that stage. I think it's important to be environmentally aware. That's why I only drive a car made of imaginary magical bricks. I'm aware of the environment, which is explicitly why I wish for it to die. I'm aware of it, and I want it to perish. I was going to ask if there were any more orange ones on the bottom. You know, to the audience of none. But, um, apparently the answer was both yes and now it doesn't matter. This level may prove to be a challenge. Getting to those wheels seems like it might be difficult. Oh 
go, my boy. Spent so many balls trying to hit the green one that it didn't even matter. Myself. made it really hard on myself all of a sudden. I'm getting really unlucky with these shots. You can add mechanics, I guess, but I guess you can't take the pachinko out of pachinko sometimes. something like that. That was okay. some doing but this game is you know I'm gonna I'm gonna break my tongue 
I'm gonna really be biting my tongue later for this, but I gotta say, this game is a little easier than some of the other ones I've been playing recently. Oh no. I don't have any tips or advice for you on this one. I just hope you're having fun. Isn't that what really matters? I... <laughs> Some of the flowers are really creepy. It's like when somebody's trying to do like a faux Disney where they put faces on everything and the explicit purpose is to make it look really weird and off-putting and uncanny. That's kind of what's going on here. And I want to say it's like intentional in this case almost. Like this character seems to be like nice, but in a way that's almost a little off-putting. Oh, that was good. That was smooth. That was clean. Smooth and clean like a baby out of a shower. Like a baby out of a baptism. That was less clean. quite as good as, you know, when the, the, the ball just slides across the line. Lucky spin for the win. No! Step right up. Do you feel lucky? Really lucky? How about super lucky? Then you came to the right air. Lucky spin is the magic power for folks who like to take a chance. Free balls, triple scores, magic hats. All these and more can be yours. Let's spin. Yeah, I don't know if I like lucky based mechanics. Anything can happen when you take a lucky spin. Maybe points, maybe a free ball, and maybe even a the magic hat. I know that some of these are supposed to be good, but some of them are just going to be objectively bad. <laughs> Free ball? Where did that come from? Extra ball is good considering I just whiffed it. Some of 
some crazy bouncing right there. I'm gonna have to either clear these pegs or just do some crazy trick shots. Personally, whenever I spin, I'm rooting for the magic hat. It's a little hat that lights up any peg it touches. the fact they were like, what if we took Pachinko, an already very luck-based game, and added more luck to it? I thought the whole point of Pega was you added a little bit of skill to Pachinko. An attempt was made. I'm good that did. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Trick! I never even played on Real World Tournament, but the sound lines are so iconic that I am aware of them. They've kind of seeped their way into the popular consciousness, you know? Kilimanjaro. Take it. not hit the orange pick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grr. From Invader Zim. Um. Cause I'm a beast, bitch. Grr. Invader Zim. Um. I might be able to do this. The triple score triples your shore for the shot. Okay. Okay, sure. That's obvious. But did you think it know that it lasts for two turns? Well, now you do. That reminds me of this like one weird line that like in Civilization 4, hear me out, in Civilization 4 the workers will speak lines in their native language. Like if you play as Spain they'll speak Spanish, if you play as like Japan they'll speak Japanese. And I don't remember what civilization it was. But <laughs> there's like this one of them when you move your workers in Civ 4 your workers will be like oh we can see you missed and it's like you can see I missed it's like what <laughs> that really it's something it's one of those brain worms that kind of I could remember my multiplication tables or I can remember I can see you missed well I guess I can see you missed is more important um so we are going to remember that Shit. Um. Yeah. I took a risk. It was worth it. Lucky spin is so lucky that it gives you a chance to get any other magic power. Now that's lucky. That's unlucky right there. I think there is a clear disconnect between the way I think the trajectory of these balls will go 
and the way they actually fly. Like. There are simply too many orange pegs left. Tripling my score doesn't matter much for me unless I get extra lives, you know? Yikes. The total score for a shot is equal to the pegs values times the number of pegs hit. Yeah, I want to restart this one. I, I messed up pretty bad immediately. No free ball, but that can't be helped. Thank 
Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay, this might be doable. Yeah! I like this game. It gets a rise out of me. It really gets me in the mood for Peggy. If triple score is active and you only need around, you only need around 8,400 points to get a shot on a free ball. But I I promise you I'm literate. Um. Let's see what we'll get. Fair enough. Easy come, easy go. Oh, that was sick. That was especially sick, wow. Shove it right in between the cards there. Awesome force of the Firebar, Lord Cinderbottom. I am Lord Cinderbottom of the Order of the Flame, and it is my privilege to reveal to you Fireball, fiercest of Peggle magic powers. The Fireball burns through the board with ferocious force. If you burn, once you bounce it off a free ball bucket, your supremacy will be assured. Your trial begins now. Looks like I've got 15 levels to go. I wasn't sure if this was a completable on screen stream game, but I guess we're going to, you know, I guess it is. Strike the green pig to activate the fireball on your next turn. The fireball burns a path through the board. Test its mighty power for yourself. Alright, well that was not good. Um, That was significantly better. So if we kinda That's quite a destructive force. I guess I still have to aim for the uh free ball zone though. Oh, 
Come on, get in there. No, all right. Welp. It seems my lack of utilization of the fireball has screwed me over. Let this be a lesson to you, ladies and gents. When using fireball, always practice caution. Observe, my student, that the fireball bucket is capped when the fireball is active. Thus, a well-timed shot will bounce off the cap and hit more pegs. You begin to see the fearsome strength of Fireball. Do not let his power tempt you into the error of pride. The flame serves only the virtuous. Somehow I doubt this. 
Fire is but a tool to be used b well or poorly. Much like any other tool. That could have gone much better. I don't think I'll be making it this time. still cannot seem to succeed. Stars are on my side today. Be cautious. Even when the flame at your command, victory will not come easily. I have seen strong men weep in failure. Be not like them. Tis quite embarrassing. Thank <laughs> you. 
This area will prove the most difficult to deal with. Free ball acquired. I think if you can hit it right in between the hinge of the two pegs, you can hit them both. Albeit it's rather difficult. Oh, so close. Your mastery greatly pleases me, my student. Few are those who dare test themselves. Fewer still prevail. That was very bad. Is it too late to start over? Excellent. some finagling to be sure, but it might be doable. Oh, 
Yes. Got it. The way of the Zen Ball. Master Who? Who? What Master? Who? 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 Yes. <laughs> yes, I am Master Who. <laughs> I, I can't do this. Yes, I am Master Who. Called by Who? So wander me now. As I hint to the mindful truths of the Zen Ball, our journey will take us to where we are meant to be, or maybe next door. Uh, close enough. It is a truth that if a green peg is struck, then you will be blessed by the Zen Ball your next term. Zen Ball seeks harmony and goodness in all things. Um. <laughs> this was a poor voice to choose. wild. It's just a... Oh, it's just a freebie. I mean, I'm down with that. But uh, it, was, it wasn't what I was expecting. I guess the mysteries of the universe really do just open up to you. Here in Nirvana, with my candy cane. Um, I never thought that Buddhism and Christmas were so, um, related? In life, there are many choices. Some are better than others. Zen Ball achieves oneness with Peckle, improves the shot you were willing to take. shot. Man, I really set myself up for failure then, huh? Thank you. 
And that's it for me. Let's see here. If we can just slide this in. There we go. That's the sort of magic we're looking for. These last couple of levels are no joke, though. We are truly approaching the end of the game. Come on, catch it. Alright. Well, I think if I time it right, I should be able to hit this. There we go. Enlightenment? When pigs fly? Am I right? Ugh. Zenball works best when it has lots of options. You can open these options to Zenball by aiming for a peg in the corner of a- or the corner of a brick. Oh, there's a wall here. I didn't even see it. Well, at the very least, that solves one half of the puzzle. Though, preventing these balls from getting sucked into the wormholes is another problem entirely. Never mind. Featuring Nirvana. Um, featuring as if they aren't the main band on that album. Zen ball is not all powerful. It can only nudge your shot angle in a good direction. But that nudge is usually enough. It is as they say in Dota 2. 
No amount of vision can prevent you from being bad. How does that relate? Uh, it doesn't really. But it's a way of saying that, uh, good fortune cannot ultimately sway bad decisions. Strangest feeling that this will not end in success. I should have waited for the thing to be under. Well, almost. And they are the final levels for a reason. They're really not holding your hand anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 
Really just needed to cram something in there. Fortunate that that ended up working out. There we go. And if at first you don't succeed, bash your head against the wall until it breaks. The power of the Zen Ball is to reveal your true potential. Every ball can be a Zen Ball. I doubt this. I didn't like on that last one where it said 20% more zen, it was like, oh, so that one was just, there was no way to make it good. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. Maximum zen achieved. Well, that's even worse. It's basically like, you did the best you could do, fam. Like... I whiffed that real hard. Fortunately, the mechanics of the stage actually make it a lot easier than it appears. Never heard of this game before, it looks like Pingball. Um, it's Peggle. You can get it on Steam. It's an old casual game by PopCap from back in the day. The true test of the master, Master Bjorn Unicorn. Well, well done. You've completed Peggle's Institute undergraduate program with determination and flair. All that remains is the final exam. These levels will test your mettle, but you may choose any master to help in your quest. I'm sure you'll do great. After all, you've been taught by the best. Choose character. I want the spooky ball. Spooky ball is like objectively the best one. Second to like pyramid maybe. Looks like this is the final exam. And just like my real life final exams, I haven't studied, I'm in my bathrobe, and I'm really tired. <laughs> Thank you. 
Try low. Okay. Spooky balls seem to be the way to go, though. Yeah, this game is like really nice sound design. I'd say that its sound design is probably one of its best features. is going to be challenging. layout? I feel like it must have. Level's difficult. It is level like 50 out of 55. This is one of the final levels of the game. So I imagine it's intentionally rather difficult. That sucked, huh? 
Let's try Jimmy Lightning. My contrast was not very good. Nice. Getting kind of lucky here. be better. Hmm. 
Whoa, the miracle bounce. That's less sick. <laughs> hmm. We'll try the scent ball. See how it goes. sucked. This sunflower ended up influencing the sunflower from Plants vs. Zombies in any way. 
I mean, it's a sunflower without face. I mean, the sunflower from Conker's Bad Fur Day could have easily have also been an influence. I don't know. It could also just be a coincidence. to get rid of this. There we go. All dogs go to Nirvana. Who knew? Master stage. I see. Satisfying to play. Pyramid Cat. Another thing that it aged poorly, because when you think of Pyramid Cat, you also think of something sexual. Man, this game has become less age appropriate as time has progressed. No amount of good skill can account for bad luck in the same way that no amount of bad luck can account for good skill. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't hear that. feeling that the second this pyramid runs out I'm going to lose or before that honestly <laughs> getting close though okay was the way to go. Did you know that Ode to Joy was the theme of the European Union? Your Union? <laughs> Did you know that Ode to Joy was the theme of the European Union? Your European Union? It's cute. So whenever you think about economic travel across Europe, you can also think of Peckle. I think I'll use... Fireball for this one. Oh! Fireball might actually be really bad for this one. Oh, if you send it through one of the wormholes, it'll launch out the other side. I see. That, that makes a tremendous amount of sense, actually. Because looking at it now, I don't know how you would hit the sides from this particular angle. Oh. 
Okay, I think I have a better understanding of how this level works now. <gasps> nope. Almost. Very close. And I'll know better than to use Fireball this time. its way into that wormhole there. for the right choice. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was something. Couldn't really tell you if it was good or not. Oh, one peg off. All right. The ball might be good for this. Nice. 420% more zen. hard just because the trajectory is like difficult um. Oh my god, it's 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 never ending. There we go. And now it's over because I hit a peg. <laughs> Alright. considered it ended up okay in the end. Ooh, we 
can do this. Channeling. I'm channeling Morgana from Persona 5 right now. Ooh, we can do this! That was the wrong... The wrong way. <laughs> yeah! Got it! Spooky ball coming in clutch once again. This once again seems like a stage where, well actually, let's give it a go. I'm not really sure if fireball will be amazingly helpful here, but it couldn't hurt to try. Oh, there's a thing here you gotta bounce off. I didn't know that was a solid object. Of course, the thing, the catcher runs away from me as soon as possible. to reach areas. Nope. 
Shit. Got you. Hitting it down there is going to be a challenge. How am I going to hit that at this angle? I guess like... I guess I won't, is the answer. can hit it. <laughs> I guess I just have to bank off this. In other words, it's just not doable. <laughs> Let's try all the characters until one of them works eventually. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. I guess here comes the difficult part, trying to get this one orange bit. Got it in though. Got you. the last level. Adventure complete. Efficiency bonus. 100,000 points. I did it, guys. I graduated. Let it forever be known that in consideration of your hard work and effort, we proudly bestow upon you the rank, title, and privileges of a pure peggle master. This has truly been a most magnificent pegging session. Is anyone tired of this joke yet? But wait, there are still higher ranks to obtain. Beat all peggle challenges to obtain the rank of Grandmaster of Peggle. Now for the most important part of the game, that's right, it's time for the credits. Oh boy. Yeah, we did it, we beat Peggle in one sitting. Nice. Oh, it was very quaint. This game had writing? Well, I guess it did. Well, good job, writing. <laughs> good job, writing. I didn't say his name. Stefan. Wait, was that Stephen Molyneux? That couldn't have been. Um. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was Peggle. It was fun. For a game I had never played before, I didn't think I'd beat it on the first try. <laughs> well, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad to have actually been able to beat a game for <laughs> the first time in a few days. It was a lot of fun. I, I, I'm acting like a broken record here. But yeah. There's our trophy. It looks like a... We did it. Um, there's still Peggle Knights, I believe to play if that's something I wanted to do. But I think next time I'll come back with a different PopCap game as well. Still probably going to be playing some PopCap games in the meantime. Um, you know, the birds chirping with no background music at this loading screen is while this unicorn stares at me is a little concerning. Um, <laughs> but anyway... I appreciate anybody who came out to watch me stream today. And, um... I think... Yeah, tomorrow... We'll play a different PopCap game. We're still on the kick. We will eventually move on from PopCap games, but... I just bought a lot of them. And it's really convenient for me, because it means I don't have to think of what games to play next time. <laughs> and also... It's a nice trip down memory lane. And they're also nice, simple, casual games. They're enjoyable. So... Yeah, I'll see you next time. Appreciate you coming out. Bye.